morning, fans of the Privateer FX. 14th of April, coming at you. The European Open here. London walks in in 20 minutes. Let's see what they're going to find. First thing we need to bring up is Sterling. Psychologically important 140 is now knocking on the door. Today's high has been 96. Yesterday's high was 94. The high from February 27th was 96. There should be risk above the figure. We do think this is going to trade today. Uh, what the catalyst is is not clear, but we will be watching to try and make some money with trades around the figure. First resistance is 140.60. Uh, we're not expecting some sort of crazy move today, but there's 30 or 40 points uh, to be made between sort of 90 and 140.40. What's next? Euro Yen. Yesterday we were buyers up through the figure. We got what we wanted on that. It was fine. But we really didn't get what we wanted as far as continuation. There's two things at play here now. We do like to buy rebuy Euro Yen up through 132.40. This of course makes no sense uh, with the risk off scenario that we're going through right now. Yesterday was bearish engulfing in S&Ps, we'll get to that in a second. But we also like selling, getting short Euro Yen down through 131.87. So. Right now, your square euro yen. We would encourage you to be long if we make new highs. So this is a momentum trade on the top side. And right now, this sideways motion between 132.43 and 131.88 is just sideways. Euro yen is now going to decide. We think it's going to be driven by boons, perhaps dollar yen through 40, perhaps S and P's. 27, 60, 50, 40, just lower, um, and perhaps oil. Even though the oil euro yen correlation is is not been great of late, with all this focus on inflation, remember lower oil means lower inflation. Lower inflation means more QE. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, charts telling us wait, take action either side. What else is there? Dollar CAD. This has been a slippery bastard recently. Now we're coming up to this psychological 130 level. Today's high has been... Today's high has been 86, 84. The high today? No, that's not right. That's yesterday's high, sorry. Today we've had a small range, 34.64, 37.64. If oil gets through 60 bucks, uh, there will be stops above 130. This one's a little more tricky, but it's similar to uh, the sentiment we have for sterling. These big psychological levels tend to attract you need to keep your eye on 130 and a close above 130 is is quite bullish for dollar cat. Let's take a look at S&Ps. We were skeptical yesterday and turns out that was correct. We did make a new high um, in the June contract, traded all the way up to 2807. We talked about this region being a trap between 28.10 and 27.90. Turns out it was. Now we've bearish engulfed after seven up days. This should continue today. Left hand side. 27.62 uh, has been the low today. Yesterday's low, 27.62 and a half. Today, 27.62 and a quarter. That's not 
that's not through yet. We'll call that the same low. Um, so confirmation of more left hand side we'll say is if we see prices at 2760. So we're left hand side stocks, we're risk off, everyone knows the Tillerson news, everybody knows what happened to the oil price yesterday. Um, so these are the things we're keeping an eye on. Also the US 10 year, lower, yield is lower, 283, but still this means nothing. This is just sideways consolidation. We need to, you know, we're waiting for 96 to break on the top side or we're waiting really for sort of 78 uh, to break on the downside. So be patient. Don't uh, jump the gun here. We have some setups in cable. We have some setups in dollar CAD. Euro yen. We also have some setups if the story is right. So, got a few things to watch today. Hopefully it'll be fun and profitable. And I think that's about it. Bitcoin, mildly lower. Ethereum, mildly lower. Nothing really to say there. We got our uh, silly bids in. 82, 72, 62 in Bitcoin. Um, we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, I've said enough. Good luck today. Talk to you, New York Open.